All right, one thing I've learned is if you want to bed, bed down your rifle and you want to use like the JB, uh, JB weld method, my best advice to you is put your JB weld in a little container, something to hold it, right? And you want to, you want to let it sit in the tray for about maybe 20 to 30 minutes just before you lay it inside your stock. And the reason is, is because it's so runny you want it to be able to build up a little bit. You want it to be where it's not runny, where it's almost like a putty-like, but not quite. You just, when you, when you, um, let's say you pick this, uh, you run the knife through your JB well like this, and you see how it's, it's sticky like that. Now, if you look at it carefully and you see how it's starting to level off, right, it's still very runny. Okay, but if you wait, you have to really watch it. If you wait just long enough where you pull the knife up and it and it looks like it the the little strands that stick to it kind of lay on top of the weld uh, of the of the uh, of the glue or the it risen, you want to make sure that it it slowly seeps into the risen. In other words, it'll give that glassy look, right? You want to wait just before it slowly sinks in. And the reason is because is it's getting really close to setting up. So what happens is if you wait at the right moment, and you and I've already poured it in the rifle right here, right? That means it's it's still baking more or less, right? Once that happens, um, what you want to do is you just keep testing your little your little test container here until it feels like it's just turning into a putty or it's not runny and once it doesn't run um see how i pulled it off here i mean i almost made it to where it almost stopped i wanted to make it make it look like a perfect block but that's fine because it's just covering more surface area so the whole idea was as i put little pieces of cardboard in there and i trimmed it just right to hold it to keep it from running right and then I, I coated the cardboard with a wax or a, uh, I used some like silicone uh, uh, grease just to, so that way it doesn't stick to it once it starts to cure. Um, but you want it to be somewhat hard, like a putty, right? When, when you get ready to push the barrel down in there, it's going to preform that and your uh, lugs or your notches, like on a Savage Barrel, they're going to preform into the weld right once it's preformed you just leave it in there make sure you put a release agent in there on, on your barrel you got to use a release agent and uh let it sit for about eight hours then pull it then pull it off and it should leave a really nice impression it's kind of like when you push your thumb into a putty and it shows your fingerprints you know the old the old silly putty stuff that's about the consistency you want this to kind of cure at before you throw your before you pull these little little blocks off so that way it doesn't just run all over the place right you want it somewhat somewhat hard just a tiny bit and then you're going to make that impression with the barrel with the lug rings um right there and uh it'll stick right in there once i'm done I'll make another video to show you the outcome of it, but this really makes the job neat um, I mean look what I did here. I mean it like came out perfect and what I did is I waited almost 35 to 40 minutes And it made like a perfect little square lug pattern in there. It didn't, it was perfect It didn't stick to it or anything, but it's you could tell that it crept a little bit, you know And if you look at that little V uh, that little right riser in the middle that was where the barrel was already touching it, but it was starting to run a little bit, you see, before it started to cure. I mean, it, I, I got it at the right moment. It was almost like a 40-minute wait time where this stuff was almost getting cured. So I would say maybe about an hour and a half to two hours. Uh, but just keep t uh, t touching your little test uh, dish here. If you see it turning into a, like a harder, like a putty almost, then that would be the perfect time to go ahead and lay the barrel in. So just give a good wait, two hours, let it cure for a while, and then pull that off. But like I said before, well, I'll show you once I'm done. 
hopefully um, this this will do the trick um, but yeah it looks like it might work out pretty good all right